Hell yeah. Fellas, please kindly introduce yourself. Uh, once again, let us know whereabouts in the world you are and plug or promote anything you'd like. Okay, yeah, well, we're Killed by a Dolphin from Auburn, California. Uh, we played our first three shows recently, so we're just getting out back on the scene after uh, being away for a couple of years. Uh, we developed a band during the pandemic, and um, Let's see, we're, we're Killed by a Dolphin everywhere. Killed by a Dolphin YouTube, Killed by a Dolphin Instagram, Killed by a Dolphin Facebook, KilledByAdolphin.com. We try and keep all that fresh with like new pictures. We got some new music coming out soon. How did, uh, how did the band name come about? There's got to be a crazy story behind this. It, it is kind of funny. So we developed during the pandemic and we were calling ourselves Pandemic at the time and we we realized you know there was lots of other bands that um that were calling themselves pandemic so the drummer came up with a list of band names and i think his wife shot out the name killed by a dolphin and he had happened to write it down and so when i came in for rehearsal one night i looked down the list and i was like that's it right there killed by a dolphin yeah. so it was kind of random you know we dig it now though we're t it's grown on us I imagine it makes for interesting merch and and stuff like that as far as like t-shirts and go and whatnot it, it does yeah i mean it leaves it way open because it's like it can be taken seriously or stupid so like you can kind of do whatever we want with it it appears you guys are in a somewhat professional studio i see the xlr inputs like behind <laughs> you uh yeah this wouldn't, is i wouldn't call it professional yeah it's getting there <laughs> so it's been a two-year addition to a uh, 8 by 16 little band room that I practiced in over the last 12 years and I added a whole another 8 by 16 and we're almost finished so oh yeah awesome. yeah we're, get, we're getting excited about that you said that was the first three shows that you guys have played a while that you just did recently uh what's yeah. the what's the hardest part of blowing off the dust from the guitars and getting back on stage like what what's the hardest part is it the is it the the win factor being able to run around on stage and sing and perform all at the same time, or is it just we some of the timing stuffs off? What's the hardest part of getting back into the swing of the live shows? I feel like it's just a matter of finding them to go do them because everyone's gunning for everything right now. People, yeah, are and, yeah, and for me it was you know uh, pretty much the the being nervous before the show thing, which. I was more nervous than I had been in a long time, and I really enjoyed it, actually, you know? Because I, I tell everybody, if you don't get nervous, then what are you doing it for, you know? So, I was more nervous than I was in a long, long time, many years, because I took three years off with uh, COVID, and then when I hit that stage, it was just like riding a bike, man, you know? So we got, we got icy dead people out here. Clearly, you must be somewhat of a Sixth Sense fan. Uh, what is the best horror movie you've ever seen? Something that scared you? Best one ever. Yeah. Or something that just uh, like was really creepy to you? Uh, I remember the first Insidious fucked with me for a little while. Just the way that little, little demon looked. Yeah, for real. The red demon on the wall and everything. Yeah, yeah, with the horns. It's like, oh, oh shit. Yeah. What about for you, bro? Uh, you know, it's been it's been a while since I've really been watching any horror movies, so uh, I'm not sure that I really could think of a favorite right now. There's a lot of good ones out there, that's for sure. I just haven't really kept up on them recently. Well, I'll tell you what, let's jam let's jam icy dead people real quick so people can hear what you guys sound like, and then we'll get back okay. into the question. Now, was this recorded in the studio that you guys are in? No, this was uh this was at Pus Cavern with Joe, uh, he, he's done some things like Deftones and Cake. Okay, so hell yeah. Players, yeah. How often do people say you guys kind of sound like Alice in Chains? Quite often. Way more often than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that a compliment in your eyes or is that like, a, oh man, I don't like that ref, like that. You know, I, I think it's a compliment. I, I feel like I've always loved Alice in Chains, yeah, you know? I, I like them. And I think subconsciously that's just starting to come out of me a little more. Um, 
but yeah, I, I took it as a compliment for sure. I think it's a compliment. Totally roll with it. If that's what people say, then you know yeah. what? Who, who cares? Just just rock and right? roll, baby. Just just do it. Hell it's yeah. always good to just hear something, right? Because as a musician, you really don't know what your music sounds like to the listener's ear. You know, you're you're sitting there meticulously thinking about it and and trying to write it and trying to do the best you can. But when you hear something, then it gives you a little feedback and you you can grow off that you know definitely uh, do you guys do you guys have any any interesting pre-show rituals like right like five to ten minutes before you step on stage you always do this or you you always have your your lemon tea or something to get the vocals ready you always do like some kind of sweeping pattern on guitar to, to prepare do you have any odd pre-show rituals really we just Try and catch a little buzz, smoke yeah, a lot of weed, and let's go. Like, <laughs> now we're talking about language, hell yeah. Sativa, yeah, indica, yeah. or hybrid? Yeah. What's what's There's your preference? One of us running up to the bar last minute, trying to get everybody a beer for the stage, you know. Nice. Is sativa, yeah. indica, or hybrid? I'm an uh, indica guy. I prefer sativa, but I love all weed, man. Yeah, I'm the same. I'll, I'll if it's green <laughs> and it smokes, I'm smoking it. It's weed. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see if, if hypothetically money didn't matter, you guys just have millions and millions and millions of dollars. What would you buy as a dream car? Where would you go on vacation? Keep in mind, you can just blow millions of dollars on, on this vacation spot. It doesn't dent the bank. So just ball out. Where would you go? What car would you drive? Fuck. Oh man. I, that's, that's really fucking hard. That's a good question. Uh, Say probably like Egypt and get inside the pyramids. Like if hell yeah, not find my way straight the fuck in. Can you go in the pyramids if you visit Egypt normally? Like I think you can go through like a tour through like some of it, but like I want to see the shit you're not allowed to see. <laughs> yeah, I'm on that tour with you. Anything. I'm on that tour with you for sure. <laughs> yeah. Me, uh, I had a client that had a SWAT vehicle, and he suited it out to be like Mad Max. It was amazing. And I think I'd want to drive a SWAT vehicle that was suited out in my own wicked Mad Max kind of flavor and maybe go to Bora Bora. It's a good answer. It's definitely a good answer. <laughs> I, I do want to do some uh, some trivia with you guys before we play the second song, but I need to know a little bit more about you to be able to do it. Um, we'll play Scum in the Dirt, but uh, what is your... If I, what movie or TV show have you guys seen more than anything? If I ask you trivia about The Simpsons, Harry Potter, Terminator, doesn't matter, the movie or TV show, pick one, and you guys can both separately answer. I'll give you a second to discuss between yourselves what the topic is, but pick one of the other that I can ask you and you will not get it wrong. I will try to stump you. Between us, between us both or each? Uh, between, it's between both of you, so pick one. Okay. One oh, answer. Uh, See, this one I don't really yeah. get the, the Alice in Chain vibes, but on the other one I really did. But uh, did you guys come up with a a uh, a topic? Steve and I are in in like Apparently, totally different worlds. About the same movies, TV shows. You're learning stuff about each other on the spot. I love it. <laughs> well, give me the movie. give me the your two like here's yours and here's yours, Steve, and then mine's and then. So lame. Mine's uh the I would have to say the Curse of Oak Island because. I ended up watching that damn show for eight years. Me too. Trying. <laughs> I watch every. I've seen every single episode. They ain't found yeah. shit yet. They ain't right? found. <laughs> shit. But I can't not. I can't stop because what yeah. if they do find it? Then I watched <laughs> all eight seasons and I missed the climax. There's got to be something there. They right. find they find all these like odd little coins here and there. But okay, a Curse of Oak Island is one, and then what's the yeah. other one? The other one's Futurama. Okay, I definitely have Futurama trivia. Which I know nothing yeah, about. I, I, so. yeah. I think I can come up with, with a question for both. A question for both. Um, let's play a little bit more of Scum in the Dirt, and then give me a second to start with Futurama, and we'll go to Curse of Oak Island second. All right, it's kind of a hard one. Here we go. Futurama trivia. Futurama. Somebody, uh, Rotten Tongue is saying Oak Island is RIP. Did they cancel the show? Uh, I doubt it. There's no way. It's It's too popular. <laughs> Uh, it's too popular. Anyway, uh, Futurama trivia. What is Bender's last name? Rodriguez. Rodriguez is correct! Oh, yeah, hell yeah. 
You have seen an episode or two, apparently. I was not able to stump you. Let's see what it lands on. Oh, that's a good one. John, I land on a golden ticket. I'm going to assume you're going to use it for yourself. So what this means, and you don't have to, but I'm just going to assume you are. Okay, so what that means is you guys essentially have just won a stream of the day. It's as if you had won the stream of the day. So that means you're automatically going to be in the next Tournament of Champions. In my opinion, it's pretty good exposure because all, all 32 bands will have told their fans to kind of show up for this tournament thing. And uh, their fans are like, I don't know this band. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, Killed by Dolphins is awesome. Let's go uh, hit yeah, the like button. Right if, if that's okay with you, I'll just throw you in there. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah, we take it all, brother. Hell yeah. yeah hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who's your favorite wrestler? Yeah. Oh, that one's tough, too. Midgets. Is it your favorite wrestler? Dude, yeah. Yeah, midgets. midgets. I think the answer is midgets. <laughs> Fair enough. Bridge of the midget. <laughs> yeah, if you ever get a chance to go, they're, they're amazing. Curse of Oak Island trivia did not come up. I got to dig a little bit deeper to find some. Um, let me stall for a second and play a little more of Scum in the Dirt, and then I'll Can ask. You hear Steve Rowe when he talks? Yes. Okay. Yes. Cool. I don't have to jump on them, and I'll be back here. <laughs> yeah, I knew you're good. All right, this is your Oak Island trivia. All right. I better get this. Who actually owns Oak Island? Oh shit! It's the brothers. Brothers on it. You know, I feel, I feel like that is correct. It says it's privately owned is the answer and doesn't specify. But I feel like on like season eight or nine, they they did take over ownership. Yeah, I'm well, gonna give I it to you. I, all right, <laughs> I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna give it to you. I was hoping for a, I don't know. Oh, you're going to hate this one. <laughs> you're going to hate this one. Fellas, do you listen to K-pop whatsoever? I listen to some weird shit, man. Uh, my girlfriend loves K-pop. I listen to everything. D we can skip that one if you want. <laughs> no, I mean, it landed on it, buddy. We got it. Okay, we got yeah, it. Nope. I'll tell you what. We'll we'll do two. We'll do two. Let's put, also pretend it landed on a hot sauce. Do you have any hot sauce nearby? You don't have to do this. I'll still do it. Um, pick a number one through six, one through fifteen, and if you have hot sauce laying around, go grab it and let's do a swig together. If not, no worries. Mandatory K-pop. Yeah. No hot sauce, man. Okay, one through fifteen. Pick a number one through fifteen for me. Seven. Seven heard. This is a random mandatory K-pop band. Very cop K-pop heard. Uh, when, when can we expect the yeah. next the next single from from uh, Kill by Dolphin? Yeah, we we're in the studio tomorrow finishing two more. Two more. Okay. So, is there like yeah. a tentative timetable release date? Uh, like per single, maybe a month from now, two months from now, both before the end of the year I is think over. We'd like to release it with a video. Yeah. So we don't really want to rush it too bad, but we'd, I mean, we'd like to put it out as soon as possible. I think we'll put some like, little hints, little hinters, you know, some little 30 second clip with the, with the, some, you know, before we can release the video because we want to do these videos with us. We, we want to do them. We want to be in them this time. There's two videos actually uh, that we have. There's a cool story behind it. We used Fiver. Fiver. Yeah. F I B R. Yeah, I know Fiverr. It's yeah, like so. it's like quick odd jobs for, for yeah. you know little we, things. We said, "What the hell? Let's give it a shot." And we picked two people, and it was two fifty uh, a video. One guy was in in Indonesia, the guy uh, that does the the full acting and poured his heart into it and stuff. He we were blown away. And then um, the one that did the like other, the, the, the that's the guy that did like the the heroin shot in the the music video. Yeah, yeah, he did all that. Like, yeah. As far as we know. He did all that himself. It, we had no idea what to. We didn't even like really. We gave him a real quick just blast. This is what we're looking for. And then he read our minds. We all had the chills. It was amazing. Yeah. And then the, the awesome. other one, we wanted something kind of trippy. 
and it definitely came back trippy and it, it grew on us to where it did go with the song we thought and um the the kid the kid did well at it it wasn't by what we were expecting but we weren't disappointed with either one you know it, it was awesome yeah it's, it's kind of cool like fever you don't really know what you're gonna get you're kind of like taking a chance in in some aspects but then sometimes it comes out like wicked cool and you're just like dude it's way better totally. than i expected yeah we feel like it worked out great you know so uh we but these two we want to have the fun of of making up scenes you know what we want in the video and acting in it get maybe getting some other actors in it and just having fun with it so like uh, an actual my, storyboard my... shot video yeah, yeah yeah cool do you have a director in mind that you're kind of eyeing? Is it is it a buddy, or is it? I think we're, we're going to be the four. Of yeah, us, since so we have t- since we have two, we're going to give one a shot and self directed, self everything. Uh, just bringing in some friends that we know that that have some good cameras and and that are willing to help out, and yeah, trying to capture the moment, man. If hypothetically you just walked off stage and you played for twenty thousand. Tonight's the night where, of all the shows, this was a big one. So we're partying hard after the show. Who's the last member in the band still standing after all the shots and ganja tokes? <laughs> that guy. Yeah, probably. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Hell it yeah. used to be me, but I'm, I, can't, I can't do it no more. I don't know. It's time catches up with us sometimes, for sure. Yeah. Uh, let's see. A couple more, and then I'll and then I'll let you guys go. Uh, who uh, is there? Have you ever thought about maybe having like a possible feature of, of an, an artist from another band jumping on one of your guys' songs? And if Definitely. if yeah. so, who who would you like to be on one? Uh, you know, I think it'd be really cool. There, there's a couple local bands, um, Diversity of One. Check out Diversity of One if you haven't heard of them already. I have. Okay, yeah. So you know, we'd really let get get involved with them. We also work with Hellraiser and Mains of Metal, and they're all promoters and, and do a lot of good things in the area for local music. So we can get them in there, and um, y- you know, there's a whole there's a whole team of people really. So even bringing back some of the old music, at, you know, co-working some guys I know to possibly just do a show as a reunion type thing because it, it's open. Have you guys seen the movie Prey on Hulu? No, I, I saw you posted you were having a movie watch. In fact, yeah. we are, and you're both invited if you'd like to join. <laughs> uh, it's a fantastic yeah. film, but yeah, after this show that airs, you know, the stream that we're doing tomorrow, after that, uh, if you get a chance, jump on the Discord if you'd like. We're going to show the entire film. Don't give anybody the link. It's completely private. We'll get in trouble if it's a public, publicly shared, blah, 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 blah. But um, you're welcome to join. Grab a bunch of beers, shotters, uh, ganja, hang out with us. Um, just throwing it out there because you guys are Patreon supporters, and I really appreciate you, just first of all, for being Patreon supporters, coming over we from appreciate- Facebook. We appreciate you, man. You know, uh, I, I just recently kind of stumbled upon what you've been doing, and, and it's cool how long you've been doing and, and how you go at it. You know, I dig it, so... It's, thank you thank you i appreciate ah, that thank you it's my pleasure and you guys rock so it's it makes my job easier when when the music's good so <laughs> right on what yeah um uh, we're so th- these two songs were we're having recorded by audio edge recordings uh, uh the guy tom he worked under joe years ago and kind of went off on his own and he's doing amazing things so we're totally stoked on these next two songs uh they're coming out banging awesome Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, what is what is a a terrible, terrible mistake that you guys made in your music career that you don't want a band that just got formed yesterday to make? We've all made bad mistakes, but what is what is one There's, that you'd be like, bro, you cannot if you just formed dude, a band, I you cannot do this. I don't have that much time, bro. <laughs> 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 just give me one. Uh, I guess, you know, fighting with your bandmates on stage, that would be one that is a definite no-no. So, I'll, to, I'll to, not that. to go into detail, but was the, were you able to finish the gig or, or yeah. was the fight that bad where it just kind of went south from there? 
Uh, luckily, we finished the gig. I, I've had dreams where the gig wasn't finished. <laughs> 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 but, uh, yeah, we finished the gig. Always finish the gig. It's the most important thing. Hell yeah. Uh, gentlemen, is there any is there any last things that you'd like to plug or throw out uh, before we before we say goodbye? Uh, I don't think so. I, think, yeah. I mean, All right. kind of said everything that's going on. Just at <laughs> killed at killed by a dolphin on every social media. There's not any that have like a little bit of a. a oh bam. yeah, but it's you know we're really trying to get people to join our mailing list because we we're working our website and keep the website fresh. Uh, www.killedbyadolphin.com join join the mailing list come see a show we're out in sacramento california you know um check us out on instagram check us out on spotify apple music all those places we're all over the place how, how far and, is stockton uh, from sacramento uh about an hour and a half i guess oh from sacramento from oh Sac from sacramento like a half hour yeah we're in auburn so it's an hour and a half for us Okay, because we have a bunch of buddies uh, in in Stockton. If you guys ever need any shows over there, just let me know, and I'll link you up with our buddies and set it. And uh, oh yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah, definitely. we're we're down. Yeah, we will definitely hit you up. Cool. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, uh, Jeff has said it's also in the watch party tomorrow. We'll link you guys up and definitely get some more shows for you. That'd be awesome. But uh, gentlemen, I appreciate right you spending some time with me today, talking about the band, jamming the, the tunes. We're excited about the two new singles coming out soon, hopefully before the end of the year. We look forward to the DIY music video, which is always a little bit tricky sometimes if you've never done it, but at the same time, just sometimes the most fun thing ever because you get to do whatever you want and create the story. And um, there it is. There's the, That's how it turns out. But uh, we appreciate right. you, fellas. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Killed by a dolphin. Give me a hell yeah. Ow! Ow! Cheers, guys. Hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow for prey. <laughs> <laughs>